Hi, this is Adam from WCCF Tech and some interesting benchmarks for the Intel Core i9-12900HK have been published online by Lab501 showing not only a high performance but also a really power hungry design. Well, it will definitely blow away Zen 3 and Zen 3 Plus if it doesn't blow itself up first and that's what we're going to talk about. So Lab501 got access to an Intel Alder Lake laptop sample featuring the top Core i9-12900HK CPU. The CPU was unveiled at CES 2022 and aims to be the fastest product made by the blue team for the notebook segment. The Intel Alder Lake H series processors feature the Intel Core i9-12900HK as the flagship CPU, offering up to 14 cores, 24 megabytes of L3 cache, and a clock frequency of up to 5 gigahertz. The lineup is going to be up to 40% faster than the previous generation, offering a big boost to content creators and gamers alike. In a Core i9-12900HK performance slide, the CPU can be seen beating both the Apple M1 Max and the Ryzen 9 5900HX by offering much higher performance at the same wattage. It really shows that Alder Lake is going to give both AMD and Apple a significant beating in gaming and efficiency, and further extend the performance with a max turbo power of up to 115 watts. As for overall performance, the Intel Core i9-12900HK is up to 28% faster in gaming and up to 44% faster in content creation versus the Core i9-11980HK, which also easily beats the Ryzen 9 5900HX and Apple's M1 Max slash Pro chips. There are a ton of options to select from too, and these chips will power the enthusiast grade laptop designs. While Intel has its own official benchmarks, the one published by Lab501 show a variety of synth synthetic performance numbers including Cinebench, Blender, WinRAR, and PC Mark 8. The Core i9-12900HK ends up being up to 29% faster than the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX, which shares the identical specifications to their flagship, the 5980HX. The site also found out that the 14-core Alder Lake HCPU for notebooks is faster than the 16-core AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, which is two generations old at this point, but we are comparing a 115-watt notebook CPU to a 180-watt HEDT processor, and it looks like Intel's high-end notebooks are now about as fast as the first-generation Threadripper lineup from AMD. As for thermals and power consumption, you are no doubt looking at one power hungry and hot chip. Since thermals and power consumption vary from notebook to notebook and no model has been mentioned here, we think this might not be the best cooled variant. The CPU had a max temp of 99 degrees Celsius while the average temperature reported was 69 degrees Celsius for the core and 76 degrees Celsius for the package. The power consumption peaked at 113 watts but averages right around 63 watts. Thankfully, Lab501 also has some power and thermal numbers of two AMD Ryzen 9 5900HX APU laptops that we can compare these against. The first is an Asus ROG Strixgar 17 laptop which has a peak temperature rating of right around 94 degrees Celsius and an average temperature rating of 70 degrees Celsius. The laptop had a max power consumption of 65 watts and averages around 30 watts. The second laptop is the Lenovo Legion 7, which has a peak temperature rating of 88 degrees Celsius and averages around 69 degrees Celsius. The power rating is however higher than the Asus variant at an average of 86 watts peak package power and 45 watts on average. The Intel Core Alder Lake i9-12900HK laptop uses twice the power as the first Ryzen 9 5900HX configuration and 45% higher compared to the second variant. While the Alder Lake CPU has higher max temperatures, the average temperatures are around the same level as the Ryzen offerings. We also have to remember that the Intel Core i9-12900HK and H variant are almost identical chips with the latter offering the same performance at a reduced power limit with better temperatures. Also, Intel is giving away its efficiency by reaching for those 5 GHz clock speeds, which sound great as a marketing standpoint, but what do you think? One thing is for sure though, Intel has a significantly stronger mobility CPU platform when compared to both Apple and AMD. Although I am worried about those Alder Lake CPUs in the long run with the higher power draws and the higher temperatures. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.